The Harriet's Ministry invites you to our Get Right service, held every first Thursday of the month in the Greater Mount Calvary Chapel. Our guest speaker for the month will be Elder Patricia Ross. You don't want to miss this awesome woman of God. So come out to Get Right service where salvation, healing, and deliverance happens every first Thursday of the month in the Greater Mount Calvary Chapel at 7.30 p.m. Come out and bring a friend. We would love to worship with you. Join the Hispanic Ministry on Saturday, October 6th for the 8th Annual Unity Conference held right here at Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church. The guest speakers are Dr. Zena Pierre and Prophets Victor and Cynthia Ruiz. All are welcome. The service will be bilingual. Join the Hispanic Ministry for the Unity Conference Saturday, October 6th at 2 p.m. in the Main Sanctuary. Save the date for the First Ladies' Day. Sunday, October 7th, we will be celebrating our First Lady, Dr. Susie C. Owens. This year, she celebrated 70 years of life, and she's also celebrating 50 years of ministry. It's sure to be an epic celebration. First Ladies' Day, Sunday, October 7th at 10 a.m. right here at Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church. Save the date. The Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church presents the doxology of the Voices of Calvary, celebrating 45 years of music ministry, Wednesday, October 10th, 7.30 p.m. at Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church, located at 610 Rhode Island Avenue, Northeast Washington, D.C. Join Archbishop Alfred A. Owens, Jr., co-pastor Susie C. Owens, and the Greater Mount Calvary Holy Church family for this midweek power-packed vocal expression of praise and worship, featuring the Voices of Calvary, live in concert, singing songs from back in the day to the present, with special guests, Bishop Bruce Parham of Philadelphia, PA, and Evangelist Lorraine Stancil Lawson of Patterson, New Jersey. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. Admission is free. You don't want to miss it. Join Bishop Owens Thursday, October 11th at 7.30 p.m. for the annual Holy Convocation for the Temple of Praise International Fellowship of Churches in Southeast DC. Transportation will be provided. You can also join the Bishop on Sunday, October 14th at 5 p.m. right down the street at New Samaritan Baptist Church for Bishop Michael Kelsey Sr.'s 25th pastoral anniversary. You have two opportunities to travel with Bishop in October. You can join him October 11th at 7.30 p.m. at Temple of Praise or October 14th at New Samaritan Baptist Church at 5 p.m. Transportation will be provided for both dates. Bishop would love for you to join the celebration with him. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Come out on Survivor Sunday, October 21st, wearing either pink or purple in support of breast cancer survivors and domestic violence survivors. We're not only showing support to survivors, but we're also promoting awareness. We also invite you to register for the 9th Annual Breast Cancer Spa Day. It's held on Saturday, October 20th from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. The spa event is open to any woman who has been affected with a breast cancer diagnosis. We will have spa services, food, and giveaways. The last day to register is tomorrow, October 1st. You can register by emailing health.wellness at gmchc.org. Again, the last day to register is October 1st. When I was in school, I used to struggle with my reading, right? My teacher tried to tell me I had ADHD. Uh, I ain't paying no attention, whatever. I'd like to explain to you how life works. First, there's a setup, and then there's a punchline. See, your setup is your talents, your resources, and your opportunities. And most of the time, we use our setup to ensure that the people around us are moving in a direction that serves us. 
which means the punchline occurs when you change that direction in a way they're not expecting. You actually use your setup for other people. The results are the same yet multiplied. It's revelation, it's fulfillment and joy, but it's not just for the one receiving your punchline. It's also for you who get to deliver the punchline as well. At the end of the comedy show, we ask those people to sign up, to use their setup, to deliver their punchline. Because yeah, I want it to be funny. I want this to be more than funny. And watching TV and this commercial came on, you've seen it before, it's a commercial where the, the old lady, she's like, help, I'm falling and I can't get up. First thing I'm thinking, why don't the cameraman help her? He right there. 